My name is Dr. Jane Moeta. I'm the representative of UNICEF in Bulgaria. I know that most of you are familiar with UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. It exists in the world to protect and elevate the rights and well-being of children globally. But today, I'm recording this video in order to acknowledge the children of Bulgaria, the children and young people who have opted to discuss a very important topic, the topic of discrimination. This will happen on the 20th of November, the World Children's Day. This is a great opportunity for you, young people and children, to voice your experiences, concerns and dreams and solutions. We are here to listen to you. We will work with you to find solutions and look at some of the challenges that hinder you from reaching your full potential. On 20th of November, the whole world will celebrate the anniversary of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, often referred to as the UNCRC. We know that the right to participation is strongly expressed in the UNCRC, and it is expressed as a bridge that ensures the fulfillment of all the other rights. Please also know that your voice really counts and your, it matters. It can lead to change that will unlock potentials of children and young people all over the world. Please never forget that. Now, let me talk to you about the cycle of oppression. It will help you to, to understand what discrimination is, how it grows, and how we can get rid of it. Many people hold certain views about others, and we call these stereotypes. They describe them as characteristics that they believe a whole group of people are like that. When you add negative emotion to these stereotypes, you now get prejudice. And if you add negative action to prejudice, you have discrimination. If you look at norms, laws, practices that may reinforce discrimination, then you get oppression. You agree with me that this is an illness in society across the world. But please also know this, you children and youth can make a deliberate choice whether to add those ingredients or not. At each stage of this cycle, you can be a hero for someone by choosing not to let discrimination flourish. You will also feel good about it. Believe, believe you me, you will feel good if you stop discrimination. The staff of UNICEF live by their core values. These are care, respect, trust, integrity, and accountability. These values are also engraved in the United Nations Charter. And I'm sure those are the values that can free the Bulgarian society actually from discrimination if we work together. So, to you, young people and children, I'm symbolically passing the torch of this cause. Let us reimagine together a world without discrimination. What would that look like? And to you, parents, teachers, institutions, civil society and young people out there, I urge you, please tune in on the 20th of November from 2 p.m. on the Facebook of our partners, the National Network for Children. And you will hear messages from children and young people across Bulgaria in the Voice It 2020. This online forum reminds us that while we are fighting the coronavirus and keeping physically distant, we should not stop fighting the virus of hate crimes, hate speech, prejudice, and bigotry. To fight these ills, we need to remain socially connected. Good luck and thank you very much.